Hey everyone, it's Rachel from Wild Backyard Soaps. Thanks for joining me today. Would you believe it? It is already the first day of fall and it's as if the weather right on cue decided to mourn the loss of summer. It's been gloomy and rainy here all day, but it is very possible that even though fall just started, we actually have a very short fall here in the Black Hills, unfortunately, especially for us because we're at 5,400 feet, so much higher elevation than in town. It is very possible and very common to get a blizzard in early October, so that means we only have probably a few weeks left to try to get as much as we can out of the garden, as well as anything that I can harvest to use for some soaps from our wild backyard before I have to be stuck in my basement making other things. So. Even though fall just started, I'm actually thinking ahead to the holiday season and gift giving, and I'm going to be making a soap today that I'm calling Ugly Sweater. So it's going to have a fun little design that makes it look like a sweater, and then I'm going to harvest these rose hips, which is why I'm standing right here. I've been keeping an eye on these wild roses all summer, and it's one of the wonderful things that we have here in the Black Hills is seriously wild roses everywhere. It's awesome. And when the rose hips are ready, they're a nice bright red color. You can eat them, you can make tea out of them. They're very high in vitamin C. And this time around, I'm gonna harvest some of these and dehydrate them to use them as a topper for this fun, ugly Christmas sweater holiday soap that I'm making today. So thank you for joining me on this adventure and let's give this a try. So it has been a couple weeks since I picked those rose hips. I took a little break to make some candles and lip balms. And as I predicted, we've had freezing temps the past couple nights. So we pulled in as much as we could from the garden, even though some of it wasn't quite ready yet. So we're just making the best of it at this point. And I did end up going up the trail to find some more rose hips and got some rose hips from a friend that has a big bush right by her house because the free range cattle and the deer got to a lot of the ones that were right around our, our property. And I went ahead and dehydrated those very beautiful this is way more than i need for some batches of soap so i'm gonna make some tea out of part of this too doesn't that just look like a nice holiday topper right there and i'm additionally going to put on some cranberry seeds and rosemary needles so perfect holiday top right there and my aim for this soap and with every soap is always to make it all natural so just essential oils and plant materials so for the colorants on this soap, I want to do a top and a bottom layer that is just the natural color of the soap, so like a light tan color with some kale and clay and colloidal oats mixed into it. And then my challenge this time, I went digging in the recycling and cut a piece of plastic to make it look like a zigzag line. So I want to do a zigzag line that's like a reddish color, and I'm using paprika and rosehip powder for that layer. And then... Another zigzag green layer on top of that with some spirulina powder, green clay, and matcha green tea powder. And my scent is going to be an essential oil blend of pine, balsam fir, rosemary, cedarwood, and pink grapefruit. Smells so nice. With the ever fashionable ugly sweater being the inspiration for today, I think everything is up to temp, so let's get started. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose mm -hmm. You'd say Carol being sung by a choir And folks being dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows that And he's loaded with toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy 
to see if reindeers really know how to fly And now I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from 1 to 92 Although it's been said many times been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you, oh. although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Check it out. I did get this to a very thick trace, as you can see here, like so thick that it didn't pour super well, but I needed it thick enough that I could run the little design across. Probably could have made it a little thinner and then just waited to let it set up, but I didn't want to sit and wait for forever. It's all good. That's why it's called the ugly sweater, right? So this is kind of where I dragged everything up on the side. So I'm just going to make that my soap scrap. Okay, I'm excited. Let's cut this open.
All right, it's a little windy. We're getting a nice warm autumn breeze again. Check that out. Seriously, so fun, ugly sides and all. It did only partially gel, but after the air hits it for a little bit, that'll fix itself. This was a super fun project and I will definitely be doing this again. Thank you again for subscribing and supporting me on my soapy adventures. I hope you're liking these. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or ideas for future soaps. And I will see you in the next one.